Second situation for English breakfast, talking about difficult words and how we can describe them in English. That song, Tuk Taryong. Tuk Taryong. Mm-hmm. How'd you say that in English? <laughs> ah, Taryong. Rice cake craving song? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, Taryong does have two meanings, I feel. Mm. It could mean like a traditional Korean song, mm-hmm. a genre of Korean music. And Taryong Hada also means you keep talking about it because mm. you want oh. it so much. going on and on and on yeah, about something. Yeah, never stop talking about one mm. thing. Well, there's mm-hmm. one kind of duck that I want. Again and again and again, and that is my favorite, Songpyeon. Oh. Let's talk about how we can explain Songpyeon in English, because in this next situation, I have no idea what these ingredients are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So in the second situation, Melody and Maxine are talking about Songpyeon, but Lee doesn't know what Songpyeon is. So did you guys have Songpyeon yet? I did. I actually made some with my mom yesterday. That's so cool. I mean, we used to too, but we just bought them this year. That's definitely more convenient though, but I like making my own because that way I can choose the ingredients. I personally really like nokdu fillings. Mm-hmm. But of course, the most important ingredient is the solip. Where did you go solip picking, by the way? Didn't you know solip for Songpyeon is sold at markets? What? They sell solip these days? I had no idea. Lee, did you know this? Uh, I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you guys are talking about. What are all these Korean words in English? I sound ah. like this entitled. <laughs> you say it in English. Oh, you, you don't sound. Because everything needs to be said in English. <laughs> no, you sound like a pure, innocent, naive, helpless, ignorant foreigner. Yeah. <laughs> who's just trying to adjust. <laughs> just trying to learn. Mm. So, Songpyeon is mm-hmm. actually not just something that people... Mm-hmm. Uh, that Koreans have to, uh, they're not just Koreans have to explain. Actually, a lot of cultures have some sort of version of mm-hmm, Songpyeon. Songpyeon yeah. But mm-hmm. what's on the inside might be different. Yes, I actually is. just talked to my sister right before this show. Mm-hmm. She teaches over in Canada. Ooh. She says, oh, you guys are having your uh, moon festival over there. I said, mm. well, yeah, it's a kind of moon mm-hmm. festival, right? Mm-hmm. She's like, yeah, yeah. I've, been, I've been getting the moon cakes. And I was like, moon cakes? Oh, uh, right, Chinese moon things. Moon cakes. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. China has their mm-hmm. own moon festival mm-hmm. that they celebrate. And they also give out. Uh, this moon-shaped looking rice cake. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. In the case of our rice cakes, it's, it's specifically half moon shape, mm-hmm. right? It's mm-hmm. not like the full moon shape. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. because you fold it in half and like mm-hmm. uh, put it half... together in the seam, yeah. which yeah. makes it look like a half moon. Yeah, yeah. half circle. Mm-hmm. So there might be some different fillings that go in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She said that she was having the uh, red bean paste. Pat- ah, and pat- she's like, it's not my favorite. And I said, well, that's because you got to have the ones that are filled like with brown sugar on the inside. Ah, that's the that's best what one. makes it good. <laughs> yeah. uh, the kind that goes into pat bingsu mm-hmm. and all the what do you call it? The hopang. Yes, yeah, yes. I love the pungopang. <gasps> I, I love pungopang so filling. Oh my God. So with songpyeon, <laughs> <laughs> we uh, don't add more words that we have to translate. Uh, with songpyeon, mm-hmm. uh, we have words like nokdu, we mm-hmm. have solip, mm-hmm. and of course those are very basic keyboard words for mm-hmm. songpyeon. But mm-hmm. well, how would you explain it in English? Yeah, I feel like especially nokdu is the harder one because things like red beans or chestnuts or sesame seeds which are also fillings that mm-hmm. often go into songpyeon they are more commonly said in English mm-hmm. and yeah. everyone knows yeah. what they are yeah. but, but do- nokdu and is... also the translation term for nokdu is not used in English at as all. often I feel so we're going to mm-hmm. try to do that with the next conversation mm-hmm. and of course some of those hard words come out but mm-hmm. listen to how Melody and Maxine describe it and maybe you can use the same way to describe mm-hmm. it in English take a listen Okay, so first of all, songpyeon is a duck that you eat on Chuseok. Duck is rice cake. Well, it's not really cake at all, but it's just translated that way. A duck is usually a bite-sized and it's made from steamed rice flour. Yep. In the case of songpyeon, its skin is made of rice dough and the fillings vary. They include soybeans, red beans, chestnuts, and sesame beans. But my favorite feeling, filling is nukdu which makes me feel good, and it's called green gram. Green gram? I don't think that's a common ingredient in the States. I see. Then what about solip in English? That's pine needles. Is that common? No, we don't have pine needles either. Wait, so do Koreans eat pine needles? <laughs> no, silly. We don't chew on pine needles. But we steam the songpyeon over a layer of pine needles, which gives them a unique taste and a fragrant smell as well. Mm-hmm. That's the song in songpyeon. 
the song actually means pine tree, mm-hmm. which is why songpyeon is often translated to pine cakes. Mm. But, ah. mm-hmm. So simply, I could say songpyeon are... How would I say it? I feel like you could say songpyeon are the half moon shaped pine needle rice cake that Koreans have during their own Thanksgiving. But if that's too long, just say pine cakes. Yeah, why not? Ah. I'm sorry, guys. Congratulations. <laughs> I just quit listening and the explanation was too long. <laughs> but these are long. delicious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually feel like if a Wegogin comes up to you and asks, what is a songpyeon? Just give them one. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. that's, that's the, the best point. explanation. It's this. Yeah, yeah, it's this and you eat it and yum. All right, so mm-hmm. the lesson for. Just go!